Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So I do really sort of pride myself on this channel for the most part of creating videos that you know you can use in real life situations. But I mean sometimes you just have fun too. Like that uh, power wagon video, that was just fun. Useless, but fun. Anyway, so today we're gonna be taking this, the 2019 uh, 4Runner Limited. We're gonna hook up to this enclosed trailer here. You guys are gonna see all that in a second. And we're gonna be at about 30, uh, 3,600 pounds what we're gonna be towing. The 4Runner is, is rated for 5,000 pounds. Tow ratings, uh, you guys know what I think about that. So for power wise, we have 270 horsepower and 273, 275 torque, depends on where you read. Uh, six speed, no, five speed V6. So it's a five speed V6 engine. Those are the power numbers. I think the thing has enough power to do what it needs to do on a daily basis, but for towing, we're gonna take a look, we're gonna see. So also, I'm not just, you know, a sales guy. I'm not uh, just somebody reviewing trailers and reviewing vehicles that does not tow and try to tell you that, yeah, this thing does great when it doesn't or whatever. As you can see, I do tow. I tow a lot. I've got a 250, I've got a 350, and I've got a 550. I tow heavy weights. I tow for a living. So I know what it feels like to be safe. I know what it feels like when something is configured properly and when it's not, when you know things got to change. So we're going to be hooking up to this thing. We're going to see how it feels from someone who actually knows what a good towing vehicle feels like and a bad towing vehicle feels like. I have never towed with this. I have never had a trailer hooked up to this. I'll show you that right now. This little trailer plug has never been out of this. Never. Any scratches there? None. Any scratches on here? None. So it does have the, the uh, pin connections for the trailer plugs, which is right there, nice and easy to get at. But it is there. A lot of vehicles don't have that. So we're off to a good start right off the get-go. So I'm going to get the trailer hooked up. I am also gonna put my Can-Am my can -Am Maverick inside of it to give us the weight that I'm looking for. So I am going to take a little measurement right now to see where we're sitting at and then I'll take a measurement after it's loaded and see how much he dropped. So right now we are at, we're going to call this 37. So we're at 37 inches right now. So let's uh, get it loaded up and we'll see what we're at after that. So we got the trailer hooked up and I got to tell you it really didn't sag it at all. Like it it didn't really come off the block much at all. It's sitting there very nice right now. So we got to get this thing loaded up and then uh, we'll take another measurement again, but that honestly did not sag much. I was definitely expecting more sag than that, but we've got her all hooked up. You know, we've got our actual, we got our breakaway cable hooked up to the actual truck. Uh, we got our plugs, everything, our lights are all good. So we are all set and ready to go. So what are we going to be at? We're going to be, let's just say 15% tongue weight. We got 3,400 pounds. We're at about 500, 550 pounds, I believe, is what that works out to be. I'm not a math genius, but let's see what our payload is. Our payload is 1,165 and, 1 pounds. So that's actually not bad at all. So take away 500 pounds of that, and that's what leaves you for your yourself, your family, and everything. So 500 pounds off of that, you got 665 pounds. So you know this is a comfortable load, as far as you know this truck and and and, and load combined. It's actually you know practical to to tow this amount of weight legally with you, your family, um, and you're, you should be good to go. You know, a lot of people that buy 4Runners, they, they tend to be more of an out, outdoors type person than what other people that buy, you know, SUVs are, because it is still a body on frame. People take these, you know, to the woods, people go camping, people do exactly what I'm doing with it, take their side-by-sides, their ATVs. So this is a pretty typical load, I think, for this vehicle. So I think it's a really, really good test. So let's get this thing loaded up, we'll take a measurement, and then we'll get on the road and see how it does. Okay, so the bike is in and strapped down good to go so let's take a look at what we got now i believe we were at 37 before 
and we're at uh, right around 35 right now so we dropped about two inches that's not bad that's not bad I'm, I'm happy with that I'm safe with that the trailer is still sitting nice and level so all right it is time to hit the road all right we are off so let me just put my trailer brake controller on oh never mind all right let me put my exhaust brake on oh shit never mind okay well let me uh, put it in tow haul mode oh crap okay all right no all right guys obviously we don't have any of those things that i'm used to using when i'm when i'm towing you know in my super duties but here we go on the road i do definitely wish that there was you know an overdrive or a tow haul for sure just to make it a bit easier on the transmission and everything else involved i'm actually going to reset my trip my uh, trip counter here and we'll see what i get for for mileage along this route Okay, we are all zeroed out. Nice clean windshield to work with. All right, so here we go. So my initial first reaction, you know, again, coming from someone who drives Super Duty trucks and tows all the time, I'm very, very used to towing. So that is one good thing. If you're gonna tow and you're not sure how something will act, it's good that you have experience. You know, if it's bad, turn around and go home. Or if there's something you can do as far as adjusting the load, then you know adjust the load and you should be all right. But I can tell you that so far this thing feels pretty good. Now we're not going very fast. We're only at you know about 50 miles per hour right now. We're gonna get on the highway though, and we're gonna get this thing up to you know 65 miles per hour. Going around those turns, it feels it feels good. The weight in the trailer is basically right over the axles of the trailer, so the trailer's taking a lot of the weight. But you obviously still do get a lot of that coming through into the vehicle itself. And the thing about towing a trailer like this, this one is actually a foot higher of, of more headroom than what a lot of enclosed trailers are. It's not the weight, it's, it's the wind. Like this thing catches a lot of wind. This is actually, as far as even with my Super Duties, this is actually towing this trailer is harder on fuel than towing like 12,000 pounds in my dump trailer because it's not aerodynamic it catches a lot of wind so we are going to be highway driving mainly there's going to be lots of hills if you've watched my videos before you, a lot of this is going to look familiar because this is the same route that i pretty much take for a lot of things just give it a little acceleration here not bad so we're going to have a lot of hills so you're going to see you know how this thing does going up the hill how it does going down the first hill that I'm going to hit, I'm going to, you know, tap the brake and see if it downshifts. If it doesn't downshift and it's starting to, you know, to take off on me, then I'm gonna I'm gonna use the brake, obviously. But I'm going to put it over in manual shift mode, and I can and I can control the transmission myself, which is what I would be doing consistently if I was towing with this on a regular basis. But we're gonna jump on the highway. We'll do a little acceleration to get up to speed, and then we're gonna see how this thing acts okay finally we are off so we have a hill as soon as we're getting on the highway here uh, we have a slow 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 Toyota Corolla in front of me very slow okay let's get going all right my foot is to the floor making a lot of noise up to speed <laughs> okay so not exactly what I'm used to that's for sure I've towed this exact same uh, trailer and and machine just the other day in my 250 and uh, yeah anyway so here we go here we go we got some big bumps coming up here this overpass I always show that so we're heading downhill right now I'll just catch you on the bumps See how this thing does. These ones hurt. Hey, not bad. Not bad. Got one more. 
more sat up here, but that uh, handled it very well. It's the thing people complain about with the ride and the Forerunner because it's it's actual body on frame. But right now is when uh, it really shows how much better that is than the unibody. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, so let's get this thing, this is cruise control set. Let's see how this thing does on this first hill here. Shifting down. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, got itself back up to speed. Holding its speed now. Just needed that initial push. faster anyway all right so that's the first hill climb now that was sort of starting with not that was sort of starting not at the speed I wanted to be so the vehicle actually had to to get up to speed so the next next hill will be hit hopefully we won't have these people in front of us uh, you know actually slowing us down right now and we'll see how it does you know shifting by itself funny thing about this you know I when I bought this sales guy was like hey you know it's got it's got the trailer hitch and he said man I will never tell with that I have three super duties I will never tell with that and then I got thinking you know a lot of people that you know buying these things they might want to see how this thing does so that's the whole point of this video is 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 for you guys to be honest because you guys out there hey you know I think we're buying a forerunner and I got a camper I wonder how it's gonna do so this is this is for you guys so here we are, we're going down this first hill. I'm gonna set my cruise right now and I'm gonna see, you know, how much it will let itself sort of run away until it slows down, if it does. I got these people in front of me and we're gonna be coming back up this hill and it is probably gonna scream pretty loud on this hill right here, because this, this this is a killer. So we are, we are starting to pick up a little bit of speed, but not much. I can feel the vehicle holding me back I can feel it not letting itself run away and we're actually in sixth gear right now doing really well you can see it's sort of adjusting the RPMs a little bit it is holding us back that is that is perfect we're pretty much at the bottom of this hill that that was great that really impressed me that that really that really makes me happy to see that that they configured this vehicle in that way. Very, very well done. Okay, so we are actually going to be going right back up another hill. So we'll see on this hill how this thing does. So it did just shift down, it shift down again. Shift it down again. Holding its speed right now. I think that's gonna do it right there. I don't know what gear this is. I'm gonna guess it's uh, fourth gear, but that seems to be the the sweet spot right there. Okay, up, shift it up. Alright, so, not bad so far. So as far as the trailer and the vehicle feel itself, it actually feels really, really nice. The, the trailer is not swaying at all. I feel like I have complete control of the vehicle. You know, I've got one hand on the steering wheel. I'm not, you know, white knuckled by any means here. So as far as the actual feel, it, act, it feels like really nice. It's completely planted on the road. I'm really impressed with with the feel of the vehicle. I will say another thing that that's a positive, I obviously don't have the, like the tow, like adjustment mirror things on this rig. And I can actually see past the, the fender on my trailer 
No problem. Like I actually have really good vision behind the trailer with just these mirrors because they are quite long. So I'm actually I'm really happy with that. I'm really really happy with that. All right, we are at our halfway point. 26.9 liters for every 100 kilometers right now. Coming to a stop's not bad. The uh, obviously the brakes could feel better, but I can feel that there is some uh, some braking back there. Obviously, a trailer brake controller would be would be nice, and heavier brakes on any tow vehicle would be nice. Just being used to using you know the Super Duties and even half tons, the brakes aren't quite where I'd want them to be. Getting back up to speed, and we're gonna catch that big hill on the way back, and we'll see how this thing does. So this is a pretty decent hill right here too. The, uh, the vehicle going down hills is honestly blowing my mind. It does not get out of control, you know, over speed at all. It just holds it back. It doesn't downshift. It just holds it back. Very, very impressed with that. So I think we're gonna get. To do, I think we're gonna be doing some screaming going up this hill. So here we go. Let's see how this thing does. This is the gear it loves. I'm gonna guess that this is fourth gear. And it loves this gear. It seems like it has loads of torque in this gear and it's able to hold it, which it's doing right now. The steepest part of the hill is coming up here in just a second. Okay, we are now into the steepest part of this hill. It is starting to lose its speed. Is it gonna shift? The hill's getting steeper. Oh, it definitely did lose some speed. There we go. It don't take long to get back up to speed once it drops down, but man, that is noisy. And that is chewing through the fuel. So, guys, I'll catch you when I get home and I'll let you know what I think. All right, there is the final MPG numbers. All right, guys, so here we are, back safe and sound. So how did it do? Well, to be honest, safety-wise, I think it did fantastic, to be honest. They're not once that I feel unsafe. I just sat back, enjoyed the drive for the most part. As far as handling goes, you know, stability on the road. Actually driving down the road felt pretty damn good. Now, coming to a stop, being used to driving these trucks, no, I did not like the brakes. I didn't like how the brakes felt. Just, I can, I know from experience that if you needed to come to a, a quick stop with this thing, with that load, it's not gonna happen compared to you know these guys but I mean when you put a lot of weight behind these guys it's the same sort of feel it's just those are so much heavier and so much more stable than what this is obviously power wise this thing if it had more power it would have done a fantastic job the fuel mileage was a big thing I mean you guys seen what the fuel mileage was if you're if you're taking if you're towing a camper or that trailer for a long period of time, you're gonna be making a lot of stops at the fuel station. Very hard on fuel. Like, extremely hard on fuel, just because the engine has to work so hard. But in fourth gear, it found fourth gear and it loved it. So fourth gear is definitely the best gear. So if you told me I had to get in this thing and I had to tow with it, had to tow that load with it, I could, no problem. I wouldn't be scared to by any means, but there's definitely better options out there. But if this is your one vehicle, you know, your family vehicle, then yeah, you know what, go ahead. But don't grow, don't throw two full grown adults in the back, you know, 
adding 400 more pounds to this thing and then go do it because it's gonna start it's gonna start maxing this thing out you never want to max anything out so anyway guys I really hope this video does help there's not a chance I would have made this video if I didn't think it was gonna help somebody because I would never have towed with this thing regardless I have lots of options so hopefully it does help uh, take it from for what you will from someone who does tow I tow pretty much every day so like I, I again I know what what a good feeling vehicle feels like and this does not feel bad there's just better options out there but it will do it you're just gonna be stopping at the fuel station all the time but anyway guys as always thanks for watching uh, if you like the video hit the like button hit the subscribe button so much more stuff coming out anyway Take care, stay safe, see ya, bye.